today I'm talking about how soon is too soon. Gosh, it's a big question when it comes to children, isn't it? You know, it's such a big question. From the second they arrive, we start the wondering and the worrying process. Should we toilet train? Is it too soon for solids? Should we do controlled crying? Is that skirt too short? Can I let him go for a drive with his mate in my car? It's the little things to the big things every day. I believe there are two principles for bringing up kids. One, that they need to feel safe to be happy. And two, that we don't need to be their friends, we need to be their parents. Now, this is a lot easier said than done because neither of them make you particularly popular. So I think with kids, when it comes to how soon is too soon, we have to set a series of elastic boundaries because every child is going to be different in every family and even child to child to child. So it's about establishing boundaries and watching your kids as they shift into new territories. So they say that you can tell when your child is growing up when they stop asking you where do they come from and start refusing to tell you where they're going. But independence is a vital part of growing up and becoming an adult. But as mothers and as fathers, it goes against our natural instinct to even let them out of our sight. <laughs> Sleepovers, going to a party, walking to school, first dates, all of these things test our mettle as parents. Um, we have to allow our kids to, to spread their wings and this means trusting them to do the right thing and trusting yourself that you've given them the tools to make the right decision. Know your friends, parents. Um, that is a really important thing to do. Get to know the mum, get to know the dad, get to know the family, where are they hanging out, how are they spending their time. Create contingency plans. There has to be a plan A and a B, possibly a pan C and possibly a rucksack. Talk through stranger danger with your kids and this is a really important one because all of us are telling our kids to be careful of strangers, of course we are, we tell them all the time. But at the same time we're also telling them to respect their elders, make sure your kids know that in a situation where it is a stranger and they are in danger that they can kill and they can kick and they can maim and they can scream at that adult. Beyond these boundaries, the biggest job as parents that we have with independence is helping our kids trust the world. Because if you're always on guard and suspicious and looking over your shoulder, you're never, you're never going to be happy, are you? So you want to help your kids open up and trust. You don't want them to be naive. You want them to be educated and make good decisions. I'm going to talk about sex because it's a big one. So I think the biggest thing with sex is be open and be organic as much as you can. So if a child sees a tampon, say, and he's like, what's this? Tell them, obviously, at the age that they can handle it. We're all going to have to walk down a corridor and do the... So have you heard about the birds and the bees? We're all going to have to do that. But if you've had those moments along the way where they've asked questions and you've answered, that talk becomes a whole, less scary, a whole lot less scary. Every expert concurs that our kids would really rather talk to their parents about sex than their peers and their friends and their teachers. There are two fundamentals when it comes to technology, monitoring and moderation. Now, monitoring means that you all have to get on board. You have to know that world. It's a massive, massive, massive part of their life. You have to understand it. And the reason that you need to know is because if something happens, you need to know what to look for and how to help. And also, as technology increases and progresses, it's going to allow you to have relevant conversations with your kids and stay in their lives in that way. Second one's moderation. And this one is really being in control of screen time. And when I say technology, I don't just mean computers. I mean mobile phones, televisions, DSs, Wii's, email, iPad, anything with a screen. Experts would like children under two to never look at a screen at all until they're two. And above that, between the ages of two and ten, it's supposed to be two hours a day only. And so it goes. We need to be their parents, not their friends, even when we would rather be their friends. And there are many days when I would rather be my kids' friends. Life is long and childhood is so short and there is so much time to experience everything. So when people ask me how soon is too soon, my answer is now, because there's always tomorrow.